Hello YouTube. So in this video, I'm back here with the Infinity. I'm gonna go ahead and be painting the wheels on the car. I know I have a couple of videos of me painting wheels with spray paint. I'll put a link for you guys somewhere up here. The difference today is that these wheels are actually Plasti Dip. So I'm going to go ahead and be covering those with spray paint. So make sure you guys stay tuned and here we go. Dirty dudes! Alright guys, like I said, these wheels are actually plastic dipped. I never actually spray painted over plastic dip, never done it before. So hopefully everything comes out right. I'm gonna be showing you guys the process I'm gonna be taking and the results. So again, never done it before. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. First I'm doing it, so let's see how the results are. And I'm gonna go ahead and remind you guys about my new merch. Yes, you heard me right, I got some new merchandise out. So I'm gonna put a link for you guys somewhere up here. Make sure you guys support. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is gonna be cleaning and prepping the wheels. Again, I've never done plastic dip, but I'm gonna probably do the same process how I spray painted the regular wheels. First off, I'm gonna be using some dish soap to get all the grease, all the grub, all the the date the brake dust out of that after that i'm gonna go ahead and rinse sit with some alcohol and hopefully that uh, helps it out All right, guys, there you go. All four wheels are now washed with that uh, dishwash soap. As you can see, the front tires are more dirtier than the rear ones. I also want to tell you guys the recommendations on the brushes. Don't uh, use some brushes that are too hard. They will scratch either the tire or even the wheel or the wheel, even the tire, because they do scratch them up. Um, over time, you will be able to see it. Um, also, I do have a video on how to wash, correctly wash your vehicles. I'll put a link for you guys up here because I am getting it all wet. You don't want to leave those uh, those wet splatters on your car, especially if your car is dirty. It will stain the paint. So make sure you guys go ahead and wash it, your cars, your vehicles after all this, especially if you're getting water spots all over your car, especially because it's black. So uh, go ahead and follow that link and let's keep it going. All right guys, so now what I'm doing is actually just using some rubbing alcohol. And this is the 91. Um, sometimes I do notice that it will uh, actually wipe off the paint. So be very, be very careful on how much you use and how much you wipe it. I'm just using a micro towel to again wash all the, clean off all the, stuff I miss with the uh, dishwash soap um, when I did the spray paint on the wheels without it having any color I actually used some acetone to clean up all the the, the brake dust and uh, road debris and all that stuff but those wheels were actually pretty pretty ugly pretty uh, dirty um, again go follow that link and uh, so you can see what I'm talking about but again, this, I'm just using some regular alcohol and a micro towel. So uh, let's keep it going. I'm going to go ahead and just prep it with the cards on the wheel line with the tire. And just cover some of the, the fenders and the back of the, the wheel. What is the rotor and disc and rotor. I do recommend you do one wheel at a time, especially if it's 
a lot of dirt in your area or dust or wind because you don't want your area to get dirty again so i do recommend you guys do one wheel at a time and uh make it look clean so uh let's keep it going all right guys already prepped i did have to improvise because i don't have any uh newspaper or cover paper or anything of that matter so i actually used some trash cans and some grocery bags to cover and back of the wheels and to cover my fenders so again i already cleaned up with some alcohol i'm probably going to give it a little another little pass before i actually start doing the the painting all right guys in case you guys are wondering why i didn't take off the wheel from the car it's actually really hot out here i don't know if i said told you guys on uh, some of my videos we do get it to the 100 plus right now we're maybe 92 that's why i had to put on my sweatband because it is hot um on my previous video where i do spray them i actually do take them off i lay them down but you, you go ahead and check out that video but i'm gonna tell you i didn't like uh, the outcome of those so this time i'm gonna go ahead and just leave it and cover the surroundings let's see the outcome on these compared to the other wheel i'll probably try to add a little picture scene on how they came out so uh, let's keep it going guys all right this is going to be the second coat these are actually looking a little bit better than the front ones All right, guys, so I did use some index card. I was having some trouble. I was getting tired of putting them back on because they were coming off, as you can see. So I just decided to use some tape. So either or you could use the tape or the index cards. I think the tape is going to be my way to go for the rest of them. Because, again, I don't like these keep coming off making a mess everywhere all right let's get to painting again i'm going to be using the oil rub bronze from rustoleum make sure you guys uh, shake it well i already went ahead and do like a practice spray make sure you guys do a practice spray before you actually start spraying the wheels because I did a practice spray and these actually spray horizontal instead of vertical I'm gonna be going down and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a couple coats so let's do a little light and then from from that I'll go get it some more uh, deeper coats Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and give it maybe five minutes before I give it another coat. Alright guys, so I'll wait those five minutes for that uh, coat to dry or semi-dry. I'm going to be cleaning these and prepping the, the rear wheels. Again, I'm just using some regular alcohol. Alright guys, five minutes passed. I'm going to go ahead and give it another coat as you can see it looking a little darker than what I expected but I think I like it better than the gray right now I'll show you guys a comparison All right guys, so the sun is giving my camera some problems with the focusing. I'm gonna show you the best I can. Make sure you guys stay tuned at the end of the video. I'll show you the final outcome. But so far, so good.
All right, guys, so before it completely dry, I'm gonna go ahead with the clear. Again, I'm using the Rust-Oleum Clear Double Top Coat. This is one of the reasons I'm gonna stop using these cards. Uh, I am gonna replace the tires, so I don't think it really matters. But if you guys um, don't wanna paint the tire, I do recommend the tape. Let me go get it. give it a test a test spray before I actually start painting these wheels because I didn't do that with again I'm gonna go ahead and give it a couple coats of the clear so a light coat before I hit it with a bigger coat. All right, guys, I already finished the passenger side. There's a lot of overspray right now. I'll go ahead and show you all the overspray. I do highly recommend you guys taping up the fenders. Um, but so far, so good. I'm liking this clear a lot compared to the other one I used on the previous video. Again, I'll try to show you guys a clip on the paint and the outcome of the other wheels I did without no um, plastic dip and so far so good it's coming out really good i really like it it did come out it came out a little bit darker than i expected um i wanted a little lighter so it could blend in a little bit better with the uh, car paint i don't want i didn't want the wheels darker than the actual car but so far so good Alright, as you can see, all this over spray. And I don't know if you can see, but this paint does have a lot of glitter. It's not letting me focus. But this paint does have a lot of glitter. Let me show you. You can see right here. I don't think the camera's letting me show you guys but this black overspray does have a lot of glitter let's see if i can show you on the can it's not really letting me show you a little particle of glitter but it does have a lot a lot of overspray so make sure you guys cover up stuff you don't want to be uh painted Again, I'm going to go ahead and watch the car either way after this and hopefully if it does have any uh, uh, excess overspray on the paint, I'll go ahead and wash it afterwards. Again, the tires, I don't really care. I'm going to go ahead and replace these. Plus, every time I wash them, I actually really clean them. So let's go ahead and do the driver's side so we can finish up here. All right, guys, so I ran into some issues with the Plasti Dip. It actually started peeling on me. Um, I don't know if the alcohol had anything to do with it, but so, or it just didn't have enough paint or Plasti Dip, whatever. It didn't have enough of Plasti Dip, but it did start peeling on me. I'm going to go ahead and paint over it either way because I don't have a primer. Usually I would add primer before I put the paint, but I don't have any primer, so I'm going to go ahead and spray it like that. Let's see how it turns out. I'm going to be showing you guys um, what's happening and explain to you what's going on. All right, as you can see, this is the actual rim and this is the plastic dip that actually started peeling on me. I think it did have to do something with the alcohol because um, as you can see, it's peeling super easy when usually this... Uh, plastic dip is really hard to take off that's one of the reasons I just decided to paint over it because I've been in some situations where it's close to impossible taking out this um, plastic dip um, it usually stains the wheel or just really doesn't want to take um, come off so I think the alcohol had a lot to do with it and this is the 91 percent So like I said, hopefully 
the outcome doesn't really change because at the moment I don't have uh, the primer so uh, let's keep it going and again hopefully everything comes out good so let's see how this goes also guys a quick little tip if you if you feel your spray paint is almost too close to done make sure you guys use another can because it starts to spit little spots of paint when it's at the last um of the can so again if you feel the can is going low or you see little little spots of paint coming out of your can make sure you just get a new one unless you want to be there um trying to uh, prep it after you paint it so uh, let's keep it going guys all right guys so as you could see you can't tell where the plastic dip was actually peeling my worry is hopefully it doesn't keep peeling that's my only concern for now i do have extra paint so worst case scenario i just repaint the wheel there's no big problem no issue but for now i really don't like those um those seams right here but again i'm just gonna leave it like this for now to see um what happens so all four wheels are done again i don't like that the color came out so dark i think it had to do a lot with the plastic dip or primer you use the darker the primer or plastic dip or whatever is behind this color the darker it's gonna be on um, the other wheels i free painted i use a whitish grayish style of primer and it really didn't come out this dark i'm gonna show you a little clip of those but i do like the clear there's not a lot of really major imperfections no overspray no a lot of not a lot of orange peel if you really want to go all out you could wet sand it and use some compound to make it a little bit more more cleaner outcome um, cleaner look but these are actually temporary wheels for now you can see it still has the nissan i didn't even replace the little hubcaps right here i didn't replace them but again these are temporary this is a little temporary solution for now because i really wasn't liking that uh charcoal gray look so far so good make sure you guys stay tuned for the end of the video i'll go ahead and put a comparison to that gray color and the old wheels i spray painted so make sure you guys definitely stay tuned for that and i'll keep you updated to see how the paint reacts to that plastic dip so make sure you also guys stay tuned for that well there you go guys hopefully you find this video useful and entertaining like always thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share and also most definitely don't forget to check out my new merch Check it out. I'll put a link for you guys somewhere down here. Support the channel. Support me. I always appreciate it. And uh, here we go with some clips. With some before and after. So, thank you.